Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of your GM Mode Competition Series. This episode we're going to be doing the Columbus Blue Jackets, the very first episode. And uh, I did some stuff off camera. I added the two MVPs from the Florida Panthers and the um, Carolina Hurricanes series. And I also added the Nugent Hopkins, uh, Eric's Neck extensions. Um, in this franchise mode, uh, with the coach we have, we have a plus five. Uh, with uh, Matto, Domi, and Line. Then we have Bjorkstrand, Roslovic, Nyquist, Tessier, Jenner, Atkinson, Stenland, Foodie, Eric Robinson. Then on defense is Seth Jones, Dean Kukin, Zakarensky, Vladislav Gavrikov, and then Delzato with Miko Letinen. In Nets, we have um, Merzlikins and Corpusalo. In the AHL, this is the lineup. Nothing special. Um, defense. That's the lineup there. Goaltending, we have uh, Kivlenix and uh, Daniel Tarasov. So some go we have a goalie prospect there. Obviously, Merzlikens is our number one goalie. Uh, no offense to Corpusalo, just not good. Not good last year, and that's why he's so low rated. Um, so yeah, we'll get started on the episode. Um, one last thing I did off camera. I hired a new associate coach. He's a generalist, but he fits Line and... Um, he fits Line and Domi perfectly on the first line. So going forward, they'll have a plus five on the first line. So let's get started with the year. Uh, I'm going to sign what's-his-face Matt Toad to an ex a nice extension here because he's probably going to jump up a lot after playing at a plus five, if I had to guess. So let's find Stefan Matt He'll probably accept an extension one way, like a four-year deal. Maybe like a five, maybe six year deal. He's serving his purpose of getting a plus five to those two guys. So there we go. And let's say I have to send him down. He can be uh, a potential, like a, a chemistry guy in the AHL. And he's not making any money anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's go to the deadline. Let's see how we're looking. Um, Matto obviously said yes. Uh, we gave him some monetary... Uh, Cons not consistency, but uh, we gave him a guarantee in life and for his, his contract. We gave him a, a nice contract. So three three zero start. It's better than I expected. Three and two is more around what I expected, um, but not bad so far. I think we're we're playing better than I expected. Uh, we kept the current coach that we had because he's an A minus, and the guy we hired to uh, take his place in the future is still a B minus associate coach. So he's not he's not quite ready, but he's young. He signed an eight year deal. So once he's ready, he'll take over. That's kind of the mentality I have. And then our current coach will become the associate. That's that's how I usually do things in this game. So um, first month and a half, we are above 500. Uh, we're, we're pretty much a 500 team. But, uh, I mean, better than expect expectations for sure. I thought we'd gonna be, we were going to be a bottom feeder. I'm, I'm fairly certain our second line is carrying us right now. And there we go, the wheels fell off the wagon so to say um a lot of losses in a row there we're back up to 500 barely above five now we're about now we're about 500 uh two tough losses three in a row four in a row man we're oh geez we're a streaky team <laughs> this is tough it's tough to predict how we're gonna do we're, we're barely outside of playoff spot right now um very close in terms of the the the, the last wild card chase here we're a point back of philly with a game in hand the other division owns the the Atlantic owns the wild card right now, and man, the Atlantic's such a strong division. Um, look, at, Jesus, Domi only has five goals. Um, so Domi is clearly a dish master on this line. He's got five goals, forty six assists, fifty one points. Line scores, and then Matto, he's just there, my friend. That's he's doing his job. He's doing his role. Um, Oh shoot, we gotta extend line A fast. Oh shoot, I, oh shoot. I didn't think that through. Um, how much money are you gonna ask for? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, let's give you a six year. Takes him until he's 28. Let's get the contract. Let's get the calculator contract out here. Contract calculator, there we go. 9.225 times 0.85. Let's give him a, a nice $7.9 million deal. Yeah, 7.9. I'd rather do this. I think that's better. 
I think that's a better deal. Uh, nope, no one needs to be signed there. And you're not coming back. I don't know who that guy is, but he's not coming back. All right. <laughs> Hopefully this, this second line can keep up the momentum that they have right now. Uh, will I make a move at the deadline to make us... Oh. Well, that, that hurt a little bit. That hurt, that hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie. And we started losing. Oh my god, that hurt so bad. <laughs> He's like, you must be joking. And now he does not want to resign. And Oh, because he upped his asking price immediately after I offered him a contract because he started playing better. Well, you know what? I'm not going to make any additions. I think that I should stay true to the team that they have in place here in uh, Columbus. I don't want to make too many moves. Um... Because I do want to, I do want to make the draft picks that that we have. Uh, if I'm being honest, I do want to make the picks. Uh, Tori Krug was moved to Chicago. I mean, I think St. Louis is is finally realized it's time to move on. Uh, Nathan Bolliers on waivers. I'm gonna decline it. I don't need him. Big win over Pittsburgh. Big win over Philly. Those were two big wins over divisional rivals. And Pittsburgh comes right back and just everyone came right back and just killed us. They just kill our playoff hopes right there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. A win. Can we snowball this? Can we snowball it? Can we? No, we are way out. <laughs> um, 37, 39, and 6. 80 point season. Honestly, that's not bad. Line A almost had 60 goals. There's no way in hell this man accepts a contract here. Oh, God. Um, ooh, wait. I want to see something. Uh, Domi. What's your contract? Oh, fudge. All right. And uh, what about uh, what about our boy down here, Stefan Matteau? Hopefully he grows a little bit for us. Um, I think I made the right choice there. Uh, so going into next year, I think our coach is going to get a little bit better. But I'm happy with our year. I didn't expect us to make the playoffs. I knew it was going to be a shorter season. So I'm going to go and... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to similar to the draft. We'll do the draft in this episode. We'll do the off season. We'll do we'll do all that good stuff in this episode. I know it's going to be a short, shorter one, uh, shorter season one at least. Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. Well, we all know that didn't happen this year. Um, but hey, in this in this uh, universe, they won. Good for them. Uh, New Jersey gets the first overall pick. Man, they moved up from eighth. Lucky buggers. What about us, Columbus? We got the eleventh. We have no other picks in this draft, at least in the top 15. No other lottery picks. All right, retired players. Dubinsky, please. Thank God. Oh, he had no contract anyway, but thank God. Uh, I thought he had a, I thought he had a really bad contract. Uh, Zetterberg, Gabryk, Steen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, Chicago. Anybody from Columbus? Okay, we lost Valibic. I don't know who that is, but we lost him. Um, some scouts now. That's all good. Okay, that's out of the block here. Boone Jenner wants to be out of here, I guess. I think I think we're gonna wait till we implement that new coach. Put that new coach in place. Um, Cause I think by next year he should be at least a B, and I'm comfortable running a B as the head coach, just not an A minus. I mean, not a, not a B minus. Uh, Lining had a great year. Did he? Let's see if we won any awards this year. So Toronto obviously won the cup. President Trump went to Florida. Um, Art Ross, oh my god, Ullman, Hart goes to Ovechkin, Norris, Lady Bing, Calder, <laughs> Con Smite, Vesna, Will and Jennings, yeah, 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 damn it, damn it, how many goals did he have then, my god, uh, Line is up to an 89, Dummy's an 87, oh god, how bad was he, where is he? Am I blind? What about HL? Where is he? Where is this man? Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll check his overall after. Uh, but I wanted to look at the goals by Theodore Ullman. How many goals? Oh my, that's a beautiful number. Man, goal scoring's up. I guess because I boosted these guys, right? Yeah. Um, so Paddy Larne, back to himself. I think if the coach knew how to use, use him in this year in real life, I think they could have been better. He could have done better than he did. I don't think he'd get 57 goals, mind you. But, um, yeah, 
Great year for Patty Liney. All right, let me edit this to say Columbus Blue Jackets franchise mode. I just realized... I just realized I never edited the stream title, guys. That's awkward. There you go. Columbus Blue Jackets franchise mode number one. All right. So let's see what picks we have because I don't honestly know. I couldn't tell you. Um, we're barely at... So 11th, 21st, 31st. I want to make these picks. Um, anybody want to trade down? Carolina does. So let's see what's available at 8th here. 8th and 9th. Oof. Even at 11th, there's some good, good players. I, I want to make our pick. I... How do I not trade up, though? There's some good players. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's make our picks. I want to make our picks. It'll, it'll be more fun that way. Luke Hughes, Dylan Genther. Kent Johnson still available. Oh, I think that was a mistake. Whoever left him up there. Look at this kid. One year ETA. William Eklund's got a one year. I'm taking him. Kent Johnson. High top. Oh, baby. Let's go. Eklund was a good pick too, but. Let's go. All right. And then next up. I don't know how we don't take Wallstead here. High league goaltender. We kind of have to. Oh my God. Okay. Beautiful. And then 31st overall, who do we get here? Who do we get? This guy's created. I don't know who he is. He's like, not created by me, but uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Angel. Uh, he's made by the computer, but I'm sorry. NHL ready? Yes, please. Um, Tuomala was a good pick too. Damn. All right, do we have any other picks here? I want to trade up. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, okay, hear me out. Hear me out, Arizona. I want to trade up with you. Draft picks. You don't want any of our draft picks. That's fine. You want some players? They do. They want Boone Jenner. I want to keep Boone Jenner. Gavrikov? I'm willing to give up Gavrikov. You get someone better than him. It's a high top six, though. It's kind of interesting. Bemstrom. Dean Kukin. I'll give up Dean Kukin. Dean Kukin and a third? No, there's no way. Um, I think we're going to be better next year. So you can have our second next year. And we'll take your fourth and a... F we'll take... I don't want next year's picks either. I want a fourth and a fifth then. And like a fifth... There. Really? All right. Well, I mean, you can't really go much higher than that. I'm, I, I doubt our second our second round picks gonna be that high. Uh, man, our scene was really good too. But oh, Isaac Rosen is so good too. But I'm gonna take Kent uh, Keaton Nickel. How can you turn that up? Um, Isaac Rosen, I think, was pretty good, if I remember correctly. Uh, Supis, sure. Theo Hachette. Man, this is a good draft. I, I think I made this draft a little too strong when I edited the rosters. Oh, well. Um, all right, so Moberg is there. Anybody I would know? I don't think so. Um, anybody good? Anybody good? Roulette. Clements. I don't know this Clements guy. For your ETA. Low four, Will Clapperton. Eh, he's listed as a gem, but I don't trust that. Ronnie Perot. Mm -hmm. You're interesting. Oh! Yeah, I'll go with uh, Oli Luhi. Let's go! We got an offensive defenseman and a defensive defenseman. We're being offered a fifth and a seventh. No, nah, the draft next year sucks just as much as this one. Maybe it's even worse than this one. So, 
No thank you. And we get our boy Jasper yes Jasper Anderson. There we go. Low six, that's fine. Alright, next up, next up. Uh anybody good that I would know of? I mean medium six. You can't go wrong with a medium six. I'm just gonna take it. I want I want value here. Uh yeah, give me a six and a seventh. Sure, why not? Get me out of here. Get me out of this draft, please. Um Petrell. It's got really good shooting. Oh my god, really? Okay. Um <laughs> We're getting lucky here. Uh, anybody else? Getslav. It's a good character maturity. That screams steel. Cause like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, all right. Next up, Hickman. Shooting again is a standout quality for this guy. Sokolov. Okay, he's terrible. That's fine. We hit on a lot of play, a lot of people we didn't expect to hit on. Um, wow, that's a good draft. All right, go to contracts. Here we go. Pat, uh, Max Domi had a great year too. So all expiring. Patty Line does not want to resign here. Good riddance. Let's give him an eight-year, eleven million dollar deal. Alex Tessier wants to resign. Let's give him like a. F oh yes, please. That's fine by me. Uh, Grigorenko. Sure, yeah, I'll bring him in for cheap. Kevin Stemlin, same deal. I'll bring you in for... Nope. Qualify you. Uh, you don't want to resign? Okay, yeah, you're gone. That's fine. Lettinen. Sure, that's a good deal. Clendenning's gone. Bayreuther's gone. You can come back. Dalpy's gone. Cliff Poo can come back. McKinnis can come back. Sure. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Nope. Just getting rid of some of these bad contracts. Or Yorf. There we go. Zarb. No, thank you. Like, just these no-name players who are just not going to make it. Have, like, AHL potential. Uh, goalies. Yeah, no. See, like, this guy out of here. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's advance the day. Let's see who says yes, who says no. Tessier said yes. Gregorenko. Letting in. Line said yes. There we go. I think everyone said yes. Perfect. Uh, all expiring. There's just Kevin Stenland. Let's offer him like... I mean, we have the money. Let's just give him that. Um, unsigned. Yeah, this Leonov guy. Let's sign him. Uh, Kent Johnson. Let's sign him playing the AHL. Jasper Anderson is kind of interesting to me. This Nickel guy I want to bring in. I want to bring in Nickel. I want to bring in Jasper. I want to bring in... Uh, where's that defensive defenseman there? Getzlav? Let's bring him in. Get him growing fast. Luhi, same deal. Let's get them growing. Play them with their, their counterparts that can help them grow. Petrel, same deal. Bring him in. Get him to grow. I'm trying something different with this team. I want to I wanna get people to grow. Uh, goalies. <sighs> mm, do I want to bring that in the AHL? No, no. I'm going to let him grow on his own. All right, everyone should say yes. Let's go to free agency now. Let's uh, let's take this out. It says we want roster players. I don't think I think we can need we can add one more defenseman, like a good defenseman. I think that's all we really need. One or two more good defensemen, and we're good to go. Honestly. Um, so let's sign some free agents here. Uh, let's go by overall. Oh no. Vancouver, the struggles. Uh, Tyson Berry is way too much money, actually. So let's go with defense. Um, Jalmerson on a one-year deal interests me a lot. Adam Pellick, it's interesting. Chara. Wouldn't mind an offensively gifted player as well. Goligoski. He equals a defensive defenseman. He fits everywhere. Jake Bean. Doesn't fit at all. Brad Hunt. <clears throat> nope. 
Any other OFDs? Yannick Weber, just we have no idea. <laughs> That'd be a funny turn of events. Any prospects who are OFDs? I mean, you know, Pionk would be interesting. Tyson Berry doesn't fit. Jamie Hua wouldn't be a good fit. Victor Mete could be interesting. Let's go buy a UFA though. Let's be smart. So Pellet Hua, Belpedio. So Spring Hu. Mm, yeah, Spring Hua. On a one year deal. Let's bring in Belpedio. Belpedio. On a one year deal. Let's bring in Adam Pellet. Four years, six million per. Yeah, gladly do that. Let's bring in Siegenthaler. Sure. All right, and then <clears throat> Jalmerson. No, we already have we already have a uh, Pellick, who's a defensive defensive, geez, defensive defenseman coming in. Let's bring in uh, let's bring in an offensive gifted player. Let's bring in Sammy Vatten in. Same kind of deal. Six six million dollars. Oh wait, no, 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 five point five for three years. I think is quite fair. Even five point four. All right, that should be good. I think that's everybody. Goalies. Maybe Eric, like an Eric Comrie. Maybe something a bit worse than that. A bit younger. Philip Gustafson. There we go. Let's see what people say. Advanced day, advanced day. Come on. Uh, appreciate your interest. Another team, sure. Siegenthaler, accepted. Pellick, accepted. Gustafson, accepted. Belpedio, accepted. Hua, accepted. Perfect. So, the only person who didn't say yes was Sammy Vadden, which is fine. We can go for another defenseman. Um, overall, UFA. Uh, so, Jake McCabe. Let's see who fits our team. So, Tara fits kind of. Ian Cole fits really well. I wouldn't mind an offensively gifted player, though. That's a thing. So Golagoski's kind of the only option. Let's bring him in on a one-year. It's like a one-year deal. Let's do like three mil per for one year. Uh, let's go forwards now. Uh, anybody good? I need a power forward if I can find one. There's Nick Felino. I mean, he would come back. It does make sense. I'm gonna bring him on a, a one-year deal, worth like three million as well. That should be good. Advanced day. Hello? Jeez, they took a while. All right, let's go to the next season, shall we? I think those were some good signings. Um, very excited. Very excited for this next year. I think uh, I think we're going to make some strides. More strides than you think we will. Or you th would have thought we would. I think we're going to have a pretty good season this year. Um, I'm fully expecting S uh, Stefan Matteau to be a bit better than he was last year. If he's even on our team still. We signed him. He's still 75. My god. It's terrible. Um... Okay, so Patty Line is now a 90. Max Dome is an 87. Uh, Nick Felino fits the same line as... Doesn't fit the same line as they do. So, alright. Alright, I think it's time. I think it's time to finally make the coaching decision to... You got worse? Boy, oh boy. You got worse, guys. Alright, Ganyo. What about you? Fits pretty well. Let's bring in Gagnon at this point. We'll send the other guy down to the AHL to develop down there. Uh, NHL head coach. There we go. This should... He should say yes to this. Alright. Let's put you... Let's fire you... Let's send you down as the AHL assistant, you as the AHL associate, you as the NHL head AHL head coach. You can stay there, you can go there, and let's get an NHL goalie coach as well. Teaching goalie. That's so embarrassing. 
I thought we were like golden. I got. Oh my god, that's so. Oh my god. Okay, interim and challenge coach. This should work the way I want it to. Shall I, Shall we do this? Okay, the glory coach said yes. There we go. Okay, Gagnon said yes. Loja Gagnon. So looking at the team, we have Padilane, Max Domi as a plus three with Mark, uh, Nick Foligno, uh, who fits the second line really, really well. So that's really promising. Jack Larosovic does not. Bjorkstrand does not either. Does anybody else fit that second line really well? No, but that's fine. A plus three is good. Bjorkstrand can move down a few lines. Grigorenko gets him a plus three. Bjorkstrand can play the third line with Jenner and Tessier. Grigorenko can play the fourth line with Stenland and someone else who's not him. So we can trade Cam Atkinson maybe. Um, okay. Well, this is a very interesting defense. Zakarensky fits, oh my, he fits every line. Uh, Seth Jones fits, uh, Golgoski fits okay, Pelik fits well, Gavrikov fits okay, Dean Kukin does not fit well. So Siegenthaler fits pretty well, Gabriel Carlson fits pretty well as well, and then there's Miko Lettinen who doesn't. So let's put Gabriel Carlson in. Um... Didn't expect this much growth out of him. Not gonna lie. Okay, and then instead of Gavrikov, let's put uh, Miko. There you go, let's do that. Uh, Scratch, Siegenthaler, Kukin, and Gavrikov. Let's trade away Gavrikov and Kukin. Let's send down Siegenthaler. <clears throat> and call up a, a player by the name of Eric Robinson. Maybe Leonov? Okay, let's see what Robinson fits. NHL, Robinson. He fits really well. All right, let's send, let's send down uh, Benstrom. Come on, come on. There we go. Thanks, game. Let's send down Benstrom. Perfect. Uh, goalies. Yeah, that's figured out. NHL. That's figured out. We're going to tr not use Kivlen Kivlenix, though. That's fine, though. So let's edit the lines real quick. Uh, NHL lines are figured out. AHL lines, this is fast. So Leonov, first line. Benstrom, first line. Gerby, first line. Matto, first line. Foodie, first line as well. Okay, Matto can play second line. Cliff Poo cannot. Jesus, everybody fit the first line? Patrell, Angle, Kahlberg, sure. Whoops. Okay, that's figured out. All right, well, the offense was easy to figure out. One problem is I'm on the center there. There we go. All right, defense, peak, Siegenthaler, Hua. Let's move Hua up the line. Actually, doesn't matter. All right, and then let's get these guys in. So Luhi doesn't fit great on this line. What about Nickel? Doesn't fit great either. And then Getslav is not ideal. Okay, and then let's do Louie. Okay, that could work. That could work really well. Scratched. Bernie. Known crazy. Belpedio, sure, but that's fine. Kivlenix is out for Tarasov. 
we can let Gustafson play down here. Kukin and Gavrikov are going to be traded. Um, oh, right. Let's... Um, I completely, I completely forgot about uh, Stefan Matteau. Uh, step on my toe. <laughs> um, okay, we can figure that out in two seconds. That will take two seconds. Let's get a free agent here. Uh, okay. Elias Pedersen, obviously we can't do anything about. Let's go by UFA. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's bring in Reed Gardner, shall we? Anybody else? Uh, power forward, Matt Luff. There you go, Matt Luff and Reed Gardner. Those are our chances at success. Let's advance day. Let's trade Gabrikov. And let's trade the two guys in the NHL as well. Let's get that over with. So defense. Uh, let's go by overall. Let's trade away. It was Gavrikov and Kukin, right? So fifth and a sixth, sure. Thanks, Buffalo. And Kukin for a fourth and a seventh. Thank you, Chicago. There you go. Easy. Free draft picks. All right. <clears throat> advanced day, advanced day. Holy smokes. And then after this, we'll end the episode. And then uh, we'll uh, hop in the next one. For those of you on Twitch, we'll hop in the next one, all right? So there you go. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's already 740. Holy cow. All right, come on. Come on. Luff and Gardner each said yes. Perfect. Um, let's go to roster moves. Luff and Gardner. Let's see if they fit. Because if they fit, I'd rather play them. So let's try... Let's try Reed Gardner. Does he give a plus five? He does not. What about Luff? Neither. Alright, well, we'll send them down. <laughs> Luff and Gardner, we'll send them down. Call up uh, Stefan Matteau. Get that plus five going, shall we? Because I care about the plus five. I really do. Um, so, Stefan Matteau, enjoy play. Okay. Let's get, let's get Matt Luff in here. Extras, three on three. Let's just throw Matt Luff on there as well. Um, <clears throat> there we go. And then let's get Reed Gardner in there. Okay. I don't know why that's not working. That's a plus five. Damn. Um, damn, that kind of sucks. I guess we'll put Cam Atkinson back in. We'll leave uh, Stefan Matteau on the bench. <laughs> that sucks, man. I thought it was going to work. Maybe you can get a plus three going, plus one. No, I don't think really a Tessier in there. All right, let's have the power play and stuff. Get that done. So, Roslovic, Domi, um, Patty Line, Seth Jones, uh, Bjorkstrand there. Let's put uh, Nyquist. Okay, and then we have you, you. Let's put Jenner. Varensky Tessier. Alright, four man power play. Why is Line A down there? Beats me. Let's do that. Can you win face offs? Kinda, but I'd rather Boone Jenner win the face offs. Pelinic kill, Boone Jenner, Tessier, Seth Jones, Zach Varensky, Pelic, Golgoski, Felino, Stenland. Does not work. Miko Letnin, please save the day. 
You cannot. Gabriel Carlson, please save the day. You cannot. Makes no sense. Hey, let's do that. Whatever. Scratch, Mateau, goalies, Merzlikens. Alrighty, that's the team going into next year. Let's hope they uh, they can pull it off. All right. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of your Columbus Blue Jackets GM mode. I was really, really hoping to keep that plus five together, but sadly, it could not be so. Um, but anyway, if, the, if this season doesn't start off well what i'll do is is i'll fire an assistant coach and put the a minus coach back in as the head coach get that plus five rolling again and go from there but for now that's gonna do it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed and uh if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you really enjoyed hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace